And friends, they got the whole top floor for the production of the movie King Creole right here at the Roosevelt Hotel, which is where Elvis stayed when filming King Creole. Creole. So right there. Fire escape right there. He was parked about right here. And he was getting ready to get out and go in to the Roosevelt, the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Top floor. Top floor, so let's go in and check it out. You ready? Let's do it. Wow, look at this place. Really? Wow, look at this place. This is beautiful. Let's just see if we can find it for you. So this is the ballrooms and all that stuff up here. So Elvis would come down to this level right here and there was a bridge somewhere that would cross over. I don't know if we'll be able to find the bridge or not. There's a lot of uh, rooms here. Let's see what this says. Yeah. Oh, it said there's a block of elevators here. Mezzanine to the 14th floor, no roof. So, but now they said second floor. Right. So, this is mezzanine. Right. So you want to go up one or right. two? And wherever it's at to go to the other building has been blocked off. Now where, I don't know, but on the other wall in the other hotel, if we can get in it, I'll show you where it's blocked off at. It's the blue lunch room that you were talking about. Shaggy and his Kings of Dixieland blue room. That was cool. Yeah, that's what part of the room I think. This is the spa up here, the spa, and I'm the spa guy. So let's look at this exit. We're trying. Yeah, let's go this. We just want to exhaust all. Options that way. Well, if somebody knows, they can say, Oh, it was here. We go back and pull the piece of film, and we know this is a big place. But where the rooms are is the other way. This is Hopeful Beth. No, this is just a dead end. There's an elevator, a freight elevator, but nothing else. Maybe he rode that elevator, huh? Yeah, he could have. He could, you're right, he could have taken the freight elevator and come here. This, that could be, they crossed over, because I can see the hotel there. I'm going to take a picture. Come on. I see a, a door. Yeah. But the door where he, where it was at is closed now. It's closed off. This is right beside an elevator. But this is on the side where you could go to another building. In fact, I see a hole right there. You know what? It could be right here. <laughs> it's right here. That, he rode that freight elevator. Yeah, elevator. he rode that freight elevator and there's a, you can see it right there. I do see it in your picture, yeah. Yeah, it is right over there. It's hard to get because it's just so much light here. This thing is, that right there, you can make out a door 
that used to be right there. So there was a bridge across right here. So he rode that Fred in. Oh, yeah. yeah, right here is where the door would have been. So he would have ridden probably, like Trey said, this freight elevator right here. And then he would have come right here and crossed over into the other hotel. So guys, this is how Elvis got to his room. We're about to show you. Is this thing safe? Elevator spot guy. I think he was. <laughs> Just That's like pretty his. crazy. I love it, guys. I hope y'all enjoy these uh, adventures that we go on. Only MM2, you do the math. That's right. So this is the 14th floor. Wow. So this is the floor that Elvis stayed on, for sure. Yeah, instead of that he rented this whole floor. Here's a bank of elevators. Uh, that said room 12, that says floor 12. That one back there said 14. Yeah. This was the freight elevator right here. Okay, right there. Let's go down to Weston House, Weston Gals, as Desi Arnett said on the Lucy. Mm -hmm. I was watching it the other day. They sponsored Weston House. Mm -hmm. He couldn't say it correct. Lucy got all over it. Look at these crazy stairs, the way it's telling you it goes. So Billy, we just did something, uh, another thing Elvis did, another That's freight true. elevator, and uh, we're about to show you guys what he would have done when he goes down to the second floor. That's right. But this is how he had to get out of these um, hotels back in the 50s. That's right. Because there's just too, too many fans in the lobby area and outside that he couldn't risk having to sign autographs and take pictures with everyone. Well, he had to get to the movie set. So it would be straight out. And right through. We'll walk right through to the other hotel. That's it. And guys, we're about to go over there. So as the spa guy says, what do you say, Billy? Stay tuned. That's right. Yes. So the road used to be one way going that way. When he pulled up in this photograph, the car is pointing this direction, and the car is pointing this direction here, and you could see that grate on the ground right here. You can also see, you can also see the edge of the building right there. You see it in the background right there. And you can also see this building, which we're about to go to. Yeah, we were right, Trey. You could see the, you the could see it, yeah. it was right there. That's great. And you could see where the hole's been plugged in right there. Elvis, Elvis walked across that. Yeah. He got filled in right there. Uh, Look at this. Oh, you don't see that everywhere. And did you see Jack Sparrow around the corner? Yeah, that was cool.
And then we have the bales right here, our bales. I have a terrible British accent of bales. I have to act like I'm drunk. So we're at the Roosevelt Hotel. And just a little reminder, Elvis Park right here. And in the back of the photograph, you can see that. And we can also see that. And we're gonna go over here next door to see if we can get close to the fire escape. Because there was supposed to be a way that he got from this hotel over to this building and we believe that it was on the second floor. Yeah, you can see it good at this angle. Yeah, you can see where they've covered this up, these windows, but they're supposed to have covered it up on the other side, so we're gonna see if we can figure it out. Stay tuned. So, is the fire escape here? No. Yeah, right here. There's the door. But I'm saying the other fire escape door is right there. Oh, yeah, that door's yes. all Okay. So, what we were trying to do is make sure we lined it up with the fire escape door. That's what you're looking for. So right here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So what they say is Elvis would cross over and come through here. Well, you have to do it up there to come down the spiral staircase. Well, I'm talking about the spiral staircase out there. Oh, okay. You know, that round one? Yeah, this is probably Yeah, bad. he was saying right here that Elvis would climb through. They were saying he climbed through a fire escape, and he would come through you here. You can see. Look. Yeah, you where it was open. where it was. Yeah. If you look, just look at it. Well, you can see that way. Yeah. yeah. And then on the side here. And it wasn't really a bridge across. It was something like the fire escapes. He would go through one fire escape and jump across to the next one and then come through a window. And this is supposed to be the window right here that he would come through. And then he would turn and go out. So this is a nice room. This is a very nice room. And the bed is upstairs. This is two bedrooms. Right. Man, this place is beautiful. Let me, oh, let, full of salt too. let me film this real quick so we can show people. So people can rent this, right? Yeah. Look, this is a double bed here, and then there's a bed upstairs. Hey, you up there if you like. Yeah. Just we'll just make this a part of the, of the story. So they can actually rent these rooms. Look at this. Wow, there's a bathroom up here and everything. Yeah. Man, this place is beautiful. Yeah, George did great. Closet there. This is really cool. How about parking? There is none. There is none? But you got a parking garage across the street. Yeah. I'm getting ready. Got a little... I just started working here. Yeah. Uh, less than a month ago, and I'm, I haven't got that far to... Uh, talk about a deal that we can get. Yeah. So there's the fire escape door now right. going across. So this would be the second floor. Yeah. And, whew, boy, I'm afraid of heights. But that right there is the Roosevelt, right? Right. Hotel. There's your outline of your window. And there's that window out there. So we don't know how he did it, but the story is he would come down to the second floor, which would be here, and he would come across and then come through here. And he could have so even you see jumped. Where the, the block is on yeah. the wall? Well, that's kind of where the window yeah. was. And he could have come across. You could see where things were mounted here. I would have to assume there used to be a fire escape here. Yeah. And so he would basically jump across. And he either went through a window or he could have even just come straight through this door. But somehow he would make his way over here. And let's look there. But that's that's not you right there. No. Okay, so it's definitely your your hotel that he came through. Right. So he would have come through here. Somehow he got in this building and they think it was in room 207. And then he would have made his way down the stairs. It's going to be to my left right here. Yeah. And this is how Elvis would have gone to filming every day. And I think they were here filming 10 days. And he would have gone out. Did you 
just like that. So you said that this side of the Roosevelt is actually the back side. Now this is where they have ballet and all that. Right. But back then they would have actually entered from the other side. So people would be waiting on the other block for Elvis. Right. And he would sneak out here. The back door. That's right. And just to be sure, he'd probably come across this way just to make sure he can make a clean getaway. That's right. That's very cool. Man, thank you so much for showing us that. Tell George we said hello and that we're praying for him. But anyhow, we know a little bit more about that Elvis story, right. that Elvis yeah. history. Thank you so much. Have a good day, man. Appreciate you, Don. Yes, sir. So, friends, if you get a chance to come here, this is 108 Roosevelt Way, Mason, La Pierre, Lafitte. And you saw the room up there. It's really a great room. It is real close to, there's Canal Street. The Roosevelt is right there. So it is within walking distance to everything. You could easily walk to the French Quarter and all those places from right here. And you can also grab the trolley right here as well. And there's the Ritz Carlton. They serve those really nice crackers over there. That's what I love about the Ritz. Yep. 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 Could have, but. There used to be, I mean, you could see here, we need a picture of you it. see all the holes, and we'll see if we can find the photo, but you could see where there used to be a fire escape on this side. So somehow, from up there on the second floor, he would get across to this side, and these could have been updated, changed, whatever. I mean, we're talking about 60, what, how many years ago, Trey? 66. Yeah. So a lot of things have changed. You can see the windows got filled in, but according to the owner, George, the window... In fact, it is actually not that window, it's actually this the over, the one here that is in that room. And according to what we have found, <clears throat> you, he would somehow cross from here to over here with fire escapes. He would jump across and then go and he would come out here, which is, by the way, as, as uh, Don mentioned, this is the back side of the Roosevelt. Now this is where people uh, actually uh, valet park and all that kind of stuff because there's parking across the street and they valet over there. But the reality is, is the entrance is on the other side, the other block over there. So that's where people would be looking for Elvis, waiting for him to come out. So he was being slick. Yes, indeed he was. And he parked right there back in the day. Friends, what a, another thing, another point is, we don't know how he got across here. You hear different stories, but you hear the second floor, which would be right there above this, and then you hear, this is the mezzanine level right here, which would theoretically be the second floor to people that didn't know that that was called the mezzanine level. But somehow he got from that building to this building. We don't know the particulars. I'll study it and see if I can find more details about it but we do know that he crossed over right here and that's how he would get out for production to get out of the hotel without being mobbed. He would sneak out of this hotel right here. All right, you see that hole punch right there? That used to be a bridge. Yeah, it came out good. These, that used to be a hole in the wall right there and it connected the Roosevelt to this hotel here. This floor we're in, this room we're in used to be a, a um, laundry room and Elvis would walk through this bridge that used to be right here where this where you can still see where the hole was walking the way out. and when he was making King Creole he would walk through here from the Roosevelt Hotel and down this way here and down here and then down this spiral Staircase. <laughs> and then out this door right here. You see that 59 Cadillac? And that Mercury? What kind of car is that Mercury here? 51 Mercury, 
and then he would go make go to production for King Creole. So friends, that is just another little piece of that Elvis puzzle. Yes, it is. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.